This video will guide you through the filling and bleeding procedures for a Magura Big System. You can find information about the tools you will need in the video description. The Magura Big is available in a version with one brake caliper and in a twin model with two calipers connected to a master cylinder. In the following, you will need two or three brake bleeding syringes depending on the model. First, push the pistons of the brake caliper back to their starting position. If you are working with a twin brake system, repeat this step with the second caliper. Pull the securing pin out of the first caliper so that you can remove the pads. Then, remove the pads. Push the thick side of the transport retainer between the pistons and secure it with a rubber band. If necessary, repeat this step with the second brake caliper. Remove the securing pin and the pads. Then, push the thick side of the transport retainer between the pistons. Secure the transport device with a rubber band. If necessary, repeat this step with the second brake caliper. Remove the securing pin and the pads. Then, push the thick side of the transport retainer between the pistons. Secure the transport device with a rubber band. For filling and bleeding twin systems, you will need three syringes. Fill the two syringes with filling nozzles with Magura Royal Blood Mineral Oil. Remove the bleed screw on the first brake caliper using a 3mm Allen key. And screw on the syringe with the M6 filling nozzle by hand. Then. Tighten it with an 8mm open-end spanner. Repeat these steps with the second brake caliper. Remove the bleed screw and Screw on the second syringe. Also, tighten this syringe with an 8mm open-end spanner. Next, remove the two screws on the expansion reservoir so that you can open it. Align the brake master horizontally. Remove the lid and membrane of the expansion reservoir. Start the filling and bleeding process by alternately or simultaneously pressing oil through both syringes up into the master cylinder and expansion reservoir. Using an empty syringe, draw up oil from the expansion reservoir of the brake master as it reaches the edge so that it doesn't overflow. Repeat this procedure several times until no more bubbles rise from the system. 
press oil through both syringes at once, and then siphon the oil from the expansion reservoir with a syringe. Draw oil back into one of the lower syringes. Make sure that sufficient oil remains in the expansion reservoir and that air cannot get into the system from the top. Then press the oil back up into the expansion reservoir. and fill the oil reservoir again completely. Replace the membrane before you close the expansion reservoir. Make sure that the membrane is correctly placed in its recess on the master cylinder and has no creases. Now, close the lid of the expansion reservoir and secure it with the two screws. The maximum torque is 0.5 newton meters. After you have closed the lid, thoroughly clean the master cylinder. Now, unscrew the first lower syringe and replace the bleed screw on the brake caliper. Repeat this with the second brake caliper. Check the bite point before you continue. Now, remove the transport retainers from both brake calipers. Clean everything thoroughly and mount the pads. Finally, install the securing pins on both brake calipers and make sure they sit securely. Check that the brake works properly and does not leak. You'll find more information in the service section at Magura.com. Your Magura dealer will also be glad to help you. If you have specific questions, you can also contact us via the chat feature on our social media channels.